What's up guys, it's 4pm, um, I've been editing vlogs all day and I'm going to continue to make this video all about Walking Dead episode 3 and 4, episodes 3 and 4 in this clip right here, but um, have you noticed how, before I get like into the details of the episodes, do you notice how like, um, they all have really really good hair, all the characters, like their hair's well manicured, they got tidy beard and all that, well the male characters anyway and they've got this long hair that seems to be doing alright somehow when they don't have any hair products in a zombie apocalypse, would you have hair products? or would you go out of your way to get hair products? No so it's kind of weird, obviously uh, every minute they're stopping each scene and redoing their hair and start with spraying their hair just to give it the effect in it um, but it's kind of funny, it looks like a hair advert just can't get out of my head like some L'Oreal advert just to see them all in the advert. Is it instead of football players just get all the walking I mean R.I.P. Eric, that was just deep. But then at the end Aaron got that, that baby that Rick found. Um but yeah, that was at the beginning when uh he bumped into Morales. And old geezer from season one. <laughs> Couldn't remember all that way back but for Ages I was trying to work out who he was, and I was like, oh. Yeah, and then anyway, Daryl walks in while Rick and Morales are having a serious discussion. Like, there, there could be hope for Morales, we're thinking. And then bang, Daryl kills him. You know, Daryl's gone mad in this episode. A bit like Morgan in some ways, just wants to kill everything involved with the saviors. So, like, even at the end of the episode, Daryl shoots that other kid that was, like, left behind. And they're like asking him where the guns were. And he's just some random kid. But, but Daryl wasted no time to shot him right in the head. And then the end of that episode is literally King Ezekiel's crew getting mowed down by someone with a big gun. When they thought they killed everyone. You know, the amount of hope that guy had, like, from the beginning of the episode, it's just him and his, like, his Shakespearean speeches that he does, you know. And this Shiva in the background is roaring. Like a tiger does, don't know what else a tiger does, apart from kill other animals and roar. But yeah, Shiva is secretly the best character, my favourite character. Doesn't get much screen time though for a tiger, it should get more. Um, so yeah, it's one of them episodes, the episode where Jesus and Morgan are actually having a fight over whether they should kill the, the prisoners they took or, or take them prisoner. But in the end they take them prisoner, they take them back to the hilltop, um, and Greg, where Gregory just got back after begging Maggie to let him in somehow the triple crosser that he is he left Gabriel behind, he turned up with Gabriel's car and she's like where's Gabriel and all this and he's like I don't even know who that is and he's one minute he's all angry, next minute he's begging to get back in and crying and screaming like he does he reminds me a bit of a politician that's basically what he is a snake all out snake worse than Negan no. <laughs> but you know, I mean, one of the characters you just want to hate. You'd love to hate that character. Um, and that's all I can say, really. R.I.P. Eric again. Uh, Rick is just realizing, like, he's raised monsters and killers. All, all the people around him just killing because he told them to. That is some crazy stuff. And only now he's realized that he himself was like that for ages. Just killing whatever. I mean, would you take the risk? in that situation, nobody can talk from that situation because it's it's made up, so but I wouldn't take the risk Morgan's got a point and like when they were escaping all the prisoners were escaping at some point he was going to shoot them all down and then that's how the fight with Jesus started And but it seems to be alright now, but Morgan just walked off so I don't know what's going to happen there maybe it's that, I can't remember I'm going to re-watch all these episodes like I said and talk about them bit by bit, not everything at once. But yeah, I'm going to go watch season no, yeah, season 8, episode 4 though. So the following episode in a bit, probably maybe not actually another day. But for now in this video, 
Um, that's it. Episode 3 is done. Yep, it's definitely a different day because I'm wearing different jumper as you can see. Merry Christmas, it's Christmas jumper day. But today, like earlier, I'm going to talk about Walking Dead. Well, this is about episode 4. I already talked about episode 3. So, yeah. <laughs> Difficult episode to take in. Like, literally, the first time I watched it, I was just uh, emotional for Shiva. Like, R.I.P. Like, a tiger, man. Legendary tiger. Probably best character. Ezekiel, as well. Legendary character. With the speeches he gives all the time. But, this time it didn't work. And we saw, you know, we saw him at his wit's end, really. Lost Shiva, like, his best friend. Because he raised the tiger, basically, from when he was a zookeeper. Um, and Jerry saved him. After he got taken hostage, briefly. Uh, and Carol, uh, when all Ezekiel's lot got shot down, Carol was scanning the perimeter, and she went in that building where the guys were shooting, and she killed them all, and nicked most of the guns. Well, no, some of the guns. Um, and then, she killed, yeah, she killed Bear with them, was it? Quite an awesome scene. So then while Jerry and Ezekiel are fighting off zombies on the other side of a fence right there, instead of getting the last two guys that had the guns in the back of their pickup truck, she saved King Ezekiel and Jerry. Which is pretty good, to be fair. Um, but then, we thought the guns were lost, but they weren't. Because Rick and Daryl chased after the, the two guys, killed them, crashed the Humvee, and nicked the guns. So all is well. Obviously... Not for Shiva and not for Ezekiel, because he lost all his crew, basically. So he's gone back, and he hasn't said anything to anyone. That poor kid who wanted to fight doesn't seem to have taken... Obviously not, nobody's taken it well. But overall, it still looks like the good guys are winning. And more saviors are dead. But that's the only bit we've seen. We haven't gone back to all the other uh, stories, all the other battles, if you know what I mean. Um, we know that Eric is dead, so I'll repeat Eric as well. But Shiva, I just can't believe it's gone. She's gone. It's quite an emotional scene. Like I've heard that in the comic book, that was quite a big part, and it, it went down differently. I think, but obviously Shiva died in the end anyway. But what a legendary tiger! So a tribute to her is. Is needed, yeah, definitely. But yeah, that, that I think that caps it off for season three, for episode three and four of season eight. That is, if I can get my words in the right order for once. <laughs> but yeah, Carol, we know what a legend she is, and that proved it. Rick and Daryl just doing their thing. <laughs> a car chase. That's quite a sick car chase. Just jumped from his four by four to that other guy's truck and then nicked the guns. Crash the truck, but you know, the guns are theirs. So, on to the next episode. Again, but again, this episode was full of flashbacks and flash forwards. By now, if you watch Walking Dead as long as I have, you're used to it and you seem to get it straight away. But some people are just like, what? Even me, it catches me out sometimes. But I'm just in awe of watching it, season eight, like when you're first watching it. So, probably uh, the last episode, I'm going to watch it once to take it in then watch it again to explain it to you guys because I just got to take it in the first time what enjoy it but I hope you enjoyed part one talking about episode one and two this is the second video I've done in this series all about episode three and four and I hope I covered everything probably covered most of it but yeah the way it's going it's like quite a 50 50 battle in it between the saviors I don't know what's well the good guys this is called them yeah from now on Rick's lot is the good guys there's less of them, but um, later on you see what this leads to and how they need more people, obviously. But that's later. That's to come later. Stay tuned for more. Keep it real. And Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. Keep warm. It's blimmin' cold. And yeah, let's get it. See you next time.